Nani, none, ka, what. Here we have the kanji with the keyword what. And this kanji has three main ways of reading. Nani, none, and ka. So the first reading we have for this kanji is nani. And this is taught at the elementary school level in Japanese. And this reading just used by itself is actually the word for what? Nani. 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 It can also be used for something. Nanika. As well as at any rate. Nanishiro. Nanishiro kyo. Partona tachi no chikai no hi. Saint of Valentine de da kara ne. Or perhaps who, nani mono, kind of like what person, nani mono, who. Omae wa nani mono da. The second reading for this kanji is nan, and this is also taught in elementary grade in Japan. And this reading is seen in words like nan toka, something or other. Ore kara mo tanomu yo, tobira wo akete kure. Nani ka atte mo, ore ga nan toka suru kara. Nan de? Why? なんでだよ。そんな結末のために俺たちは歩んできたんじゃない。なんでもないや、なんでもない。Or even nanin, how many people?他に何人の時代が生き延びたでしょうか。誰からも連絡がないんじゃ。and finally, we have the third reading, which is actually quite a high level reading. As we can see, this reading is actually taught at the junior high grade in Japan. So Japanese people don't learn this reading until high school. And this is used in a little bit more rarer words like here, ikani, for how, a very formal expression. Or even just used as a part of a kanji compound for geometry. Kika. But as we can see, it's a pretty straightforward kanji. There are three readings. Nani, nan, and ka. And the general concept of this kanji is what? Literally just using this kanji by itself means what? And now if we actually have a look at how these readings are used in vocabulary across the JLPT, as well as across the top 10,000 most useful words. First, we have the reading nani. And as we can see, this is a very essential reading. It's used at the N5 in the top 500 words for what? Nani. As well as the N3 for nanika, something. It's used in a little bit more high level language at the N1, like nani shiro, and even words that aren't in the JLPT, like nani mono. Then we have the next reading, nun, and this is still really common. As we can see here, it's used in the N3 top 500 words for nan toka, as well as the top 3,000, nan de, and the top 5,000, nan demo. And also in words like nan nin, how many people. And finally, as we can see, the last reading, ka, is used much more rarely. These words aren't even in the top 10,000 most useful words, and they're either at the N1 level or above, like kika for geometry and ikani for how or in what way. So in order to help you remember this kanji for what, as we can see, it's broken down by two radicals. We have the radical for a man or a person on the left-hand side, and we also have the kanji radical for good or possible on the right-hand side. That's also read as ka. So an interesting mnemonic that you could perhaps use to help you learn this kanji is what is possible when it comes to mankind. Man on the left, possible on the right, and that becomes what. And as we can see here, the kanji is actually used in compounds for other kanji, like the kanji for possible, ka, also using the same reading, and even for baggage, also read as ka. And there you have it, there's the kanji for what in Japanese, nani. You can see it used in words like nani, what, nanika, something, nani shiro, at any rate, nantoka, something or another, nande, why, and nandemo, anything. And then used at a junior high level with ka, like ikani how or in what way, or kika for geometry. So thanks so much guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you have a nice feeling for how to use this kanji for what, nani, nun and ka.
If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and if you really enjoy these videos, then you can consider coming joining us on the Game Game Go Discord community where you can help support the channel, as well as get a whole bunch of different perks like help with your Japanese, connect with other learners, get help from native speakers, find out information, tips and tricks about how to play games in Japanese, as well as just things about Japan in general. You can join directly through the Game Game Go website or through Patreon. Thanks so much guys for watching, hope you're enjoying learning Japanese, and as always, I'll see you again in the next video. See you guys.